Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are headed out, but I wanted to show you something. I rarely ever drink, I don't do drugs, I don't smoke, never done any of those things, um, but I do have one addiction and I'm gonna show you guys. So this morning I switched over to a bigger purse because everything in my purse is too much for my Can smaller purse. And so I moved everything over and I have what every normal person would have in their purse. Do you guys see it? Yeah, that's my purse. <laughs> Can you guys guess my addiction? Okay, so let's talk Christmas. Um, I did something crazy this year. Gabby's getting older. Every time we go shopping, Sophie's like, I like this, I like that, I like this. Gabby doesn't even like ever really shop. She's a really simple person. She likes what she likes and she doesn't have that need for a lot of stuff. What, where does she come from? Sam is a hoarder, on the verge of being a hoarder with his okay. stuff. And I love stuff. <laughs> what the heck? I You're throw. A hoarder if you love stuff. I love stuff, but I get rid of stuff. But anyway, Gabby's not like any of us like that. And so this year I gave her a bunch of money and I said, Gabby, order what you want online. And the reason I did that was because you should do that too. Is because she likes what she likes. And every time I say to her, send me a link for something that you like, she never does it. So anyway, this week we should be getting back a ton of presents that Gabby ordered for herself for Christmas and this is the very first package and so like for normal Christmas parents buy presents and then you get to see them then the kid gets to see them this year Gabby bought her own presents and now I get to open them and see what I bought her cool ugly Christmas sweaters oh don't look at that Sophie and I found this really cool new store it has all the Chinese stuff. That is adorable. But it's all like, all the stuff that you buy, like on Timu and Wish, all the like stuff from China. The whole store is China stuff. So cheap here with Timu. Yeah, $1.69. This is in-store Timu. This is in-store Timu. Oh, that is adorable. The chubbiest little pig. We need to give that to our goats. Wait. Put that in the goat barn. That one in here. You stay here. Yeah, we found everything we okay. like. All right, honestly, this store is like, it's like Timu. It is Timu. Everything from Timu is in this store. Isn't that crazy? And it's the same price. Like, what the heck is that? It's $6. Oh, no, it's $10. I'm definitely gonna buy some stuff for Christmas from here today. This is cute. The world is changing right before our, my eyes, you guys. What are these? The world is changing. China has come to Canada. And we left the mall to a blizzard, you guys. Everybody's driving so slow because they're worried about crashing. Ooh, because it's the first blizzard of the year. It snows every single year, you guys. And the first snowfall, the first real snowfall, everybody crashes and everybody drives like they've never seen snow before. And everybody panics too. Like we saw the snow and we're like, let's go, we gotta get home. <laughs> so this is our hay, you guys. This is our hay. Can you believe it? <laughs> what we do with our hay, because we don't have a lot of storage, is that we pay extra, so like hay costs, I don't know, say hay costs $4 a bale or $5 a bale, step on it, then we pay like $5 a bale. We pay a little bit extra and then they store it here for us. So basically he doesn't sell it because we're his customer and then he stores it here for us. Does that make sense? It's nice and warm in here. We need one of these oat coverall things. It's, it's, oh, I can't do it. Wait, oh, I did it. Oh. Anyway, so this is where we get our hay. I like it. It's cool. It's nice and warm in here. There's tons of it. Is that straw over there or is it dead hay? Okay. It's all hay. Anyway. It's more dry than dry. My hay. goats don't like dry hay. Some, every once in a while we get like a, a rough looking bale. That's, that hay up there looks good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how we get our hay, then we bring it home. So we come like every week 
sometimes twice a week. This week we did it twice a week. I'm gonna go get my coat and then I'm gonna sweep out the barn. So Sam is back to doing chores with Sophie, but they don't sweep. Also, you guys, it is parade week. So we are going on the parade this week. We have to get all of our stuff ready. Do you know what you're gonna dress your pony up in? Uh, her new halter. I don't think you can use that though. For the parade? I'm going to and then I'm just gonna put her other one on as well. Sophie wants to try all of her stuff on her pony. Again. Yeah, remember when we got these things? You could crochet these with this kind of material. It's really strong. I hate making ropes. So we are completely stocked up again with hay. Yesterday he stocked my goat barn with hay. I'm freezing, but look it, it's adorable. I'm gonna take it in and fix this part and make it longer. So I don't know why it's on there. Wait. You say you're gonna make this part longer at the back? This you part's make... supposed to be at, oh. Could but look at this, them? this part is so long. This part needs to be longer, so. Yeah. Wanted... Super cute though, much oh. better than the one she made yesterday. Oh, but look at how cute she walks in it. Like she just walks in that. That's how like. I feel like she likes to stop. I feel like we over. We use overkill for horses. Like I feel like these big, huge, bulky harnesses. Like this is so soft and so light. She loves and she it. listens in it. Yeah, honey would not do good. I already have to drink. Honey. Did you see those brakes? Yeah, like she's so good. I bet you she appreciates it too because look at everybody's blanket is wrecked. So I need to get Gracie a blanket. I know I have one and someone reminded me that I have one for her and it's purple and I remember buying it. Is this it? Oh my gosh, this is it. Is this it? This has to be it. This is for sure it. And it's dirty. And I saw someone make a comment saying that we should be washing our blankets. But I have a question. Whew, it's cold, this is it. Can you go bring Gracie in? That's it. All right, I'm gonna go get my coat on and then I'll come back out. Okay, so this is my question to you guys. I believe in clean blankets. They're pretty. They don't last long, but I love them. It's cool. <gasps> yeah, the new grain is frozen. Whew. I'm warmer now. This part of the oh, that's funny. I'm gonna sell the halters, but I'm gonna make it so they have these things. Oh, where'd you get those? In the bucket thing. Let's see, you found them? Those are D-rings. So? Yeah, that's cool, but why don't you perfect it but first, your, your pattern. Okay, so. Help me get Gracie. Literally, it took a subscriber to tell me Stop, no. that I had this blanket for Gracie. Come on, you know we're talking about you. Good girl. She's like, Ooh. do you have treats? I feel bad. And uh, make you a halter. I was like, if I don't find that blanket today, we have to go to the tax store and get her a, a blanket. And then I just found it. That would have been funner. <laughs> that would have been funner. Could have picked something cute and pink. Lola, what's wrong? Come on, Lola. You guys, she cries all day. Uh oh. You know, a fan. A fan sent us this one. Yeah, a fan sent us that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Where are you taking her? Over here. Just go I was going to take her in the barn. Be nice to <laughs> They're all like, what are we doing? Oh, look at that baby. I feel so bad for her because she has nobody. She, she's warm. <laughs> I know. Storm's like, she's annoying. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'll be right there with the blanket. <laughs> I think Ellie, is she scared? What's happening? There we go. All right, so my point about the dirty blankets, it's not as pretty, but when you wash blankets, it wrecks the water protection, the waterproof off of it. So yes, you can go and you can buy the stuff that goes back on. And we've done all that. I used to wash all of our blankets. Very quickly learned that dirt is better than the waterproofing spray. The stuff that you buy does not work nearly as good well, as the stuff that the blankets are made Let's with. I know, we're sweater. frozen. Oh, there's Ellie's Christmas sweater. Goodness. I think Willow could use another blanket too. Yeah. I might sew this one up and then use it for Willow because oh, that's way too big. I don't think it is. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> Ellie's running with a stick. Wait. Ellie. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> she had this big stick in her face, in her mouth. She's so she just loves it out here. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a wild thing. Wait. All right, let's put that very secure, strong it is. halter on her. It's very secure, and I'm going to sell them. The ones I make. I mean, they're really cute for pictures. Like, that is so cute. I took pictures. Do what? I think it's not that bad. Look, that's supposed to be like that. Not that. It would, oh, that's fine. I think the back part is okay. Okay. Look how fat she is, Sophie. Yeah, well that doesn't fit her, that's a pony. <laughs> Sophie's like, don't worry, Willow. You're not getting this. But I don't know, Wait, I like can it. can we take these things off? <laughs> well, let me fix it. I still love this blanket. And it just needs a little bit of sewing. I love my halters. Yeah, they're super cute. Anyway, what I read and learned, Ellie, are you coming? Ellie, where's Ellie? <gasps> So what I learned is that washing your blankets affects the integrity of the blanket in more than one way. It wears the blanket faster than just letting the horse wear the blanket from it being washed and the, obviously, and it's just not worth it because blankets are so much money. I just stopped washing them. Rips destroy the integrity of the blanket. And we've had our fair share of rips. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the